Okay. So you're kind of one trick Samira, right? Yeah. Uh, Silver 4, you're kind of new player, right? You're not playing for long. Okay. Uh, so generally speaking, I will really like that you're not spamming a lot of champions because at your level uh, Usually people like to play a lot of a lot of champs But uh, the fact that you're just playing one and spamming him is really good because that way you're 100% gonna climb faster What kind of supports you want to play with? Uh, I'd like to play with uh, some engage support like uh, Nautilus or um, like uh, this crank or something. Yeah, that's true. Like every, all sorts of like uh, tanky hook, su tanky hook supports are really yeah. really good, Samira. And in my opinion, it's not like that. It's just really good. It's the thing that for Samira to work in higher elos, you just need to play with something like Rakan Nautilus boot crank. Uh, bike some stuff like that, you know. Because if if they pick you like Zerat or I don't know uh, some random thing like Timo support, for example, this should never work. Like you should never get really ahead in this lane. But f for the reason that this is low elo games, it can work, you know. But uh, generally speaking, you want to have tanky support. But uh, the thing is, obviously, you can't uh, like you can't. Uh, influence on what your support pick but the best thing you can do is just type them i would prefer thank you support you know <laughs> and that's it <laughs> so if you have some questions for me feel free to just ask uh, how, how do you like play with some uh, adc like lucian or tristana how do i play against it yeah I mean, generally, yeah, that's kind of not easy matchups because they're really strong early, and especially if they have like Vox or something that can fuck you up early, it's hard. But uh, generally, against those harder matchups like Lucian and Tristana, it's really important that you, that you have like Nautilus or something, and against that, that champs, you can't really poke, obviously. The only way to outplay them is to kind of all in them, if you know what I mean like your Nautilus hooks and then you just go all in because if you just trade with Lux Lucian you will never win because they have better poke, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm just saying, generally speaking I don't really like that word but it's okay. Uh, why though? Because um, that word in general it doesn't do much because you can just cover that that spot. I, also, I don't like this in weight. This is not good. This is, I mean, doesn't look too good to me. Because they have numbers advantage. You have your three and their four, so you obviously lose that. Because uh, that word that you just put, you can just cover that with your vision and with your champion. You don't need that. You can save that word for laning phase. It's much more beneficial. It's a small detail. It's not like it's gonna lose you the game, but it's definitely a mistake. Did you realize where enemy jungler started? Like, do you know where he started? Uh, the enemy jungle? Mm -hmm. Like here? Yep. Okay. You wanna focus Ezreal? Nice, just Ezreal. They didn't win that because of Ignite. They may die. Okay, I'm happy with that. Considering the you had no sums and everything, I think this is very good for you. But technically, because of you, you can see the wave. The, this wave now you lose like 100 gold or even more maybe. This is like generally not good and even worse, uh, you lose a lot of XP because you're not there, right? But I'm happy that you at least traded one for one. Also, let me ask you, do you understand what's happening with the wave right now? Uh, it's pushing again their wave and I am um, slow pushing, right? Yeah, it's slow pushing towards them. Which is generally not good. You don't want that thing to happen. 
but uh, it's okay if like your jungler is batting towards you and he can like cover you or or if enemies are low and you can dive them that's two situations where it can be fine but otherwise you're really gankable now considering your position enemy jungler is top side so you're chilling on that so this is actually extremely good because you can see with the wave right you crushed it into enemy's turret and now the next wave is gonna push towards you unless you're just perma auto attacking the wave but uh, this is also good because the next wave is also crashing right nice jungler is here but i think you win don't be scared All, almost close okay careful as real came oh good uh, how how do we know if this gonna crash or not? How do we know? I mean, you, you look at your own wave. For example, you can see you're now walking with your wave, and you compare it to the wave that's at the lane, and you just calculate if if it's gonna come into the lane in your in time, and then you can see it that way. It's a little bit complicated at first, but you you, you get it. So your jungler is what side? And they are very gankable at this spot. You can ping like one help or something. Because this, this is definitely gankable for him. Nice. Can maybe fight. As real. I mm, think it will be okay, generally speaking. It's okay. Uh, I think we while Jonko just get mm -hmm. a double Q. Mm -hmm. Look, to be honest, I don't think this is your bad that much because uh, your your uh, trash engaged it really early but I'm happy because it's, it's one for two obviously so I don't think you should be like mad about it, it's really good and the wave crashes again as you can see, it's in the third range so now you're gonna see how, how the next wave is gonna push towards you and I don't want you to, to like uh, I, I want you to just last it at this at this stage I don't want you to push it again because they are gonna be very killable if, if they will be on, on in the center of the lane uh, so we want the wave to be like here and yes uh, you, you saw what happened with listen right they you, you got a really good gang because they, they were really far up right that, that's the reason they died and you can see enemy minions are much more than you so you just want to keep it that way careful on Nautilus you want to trim the wave a little bit that means like the wave is too big now and you can pro you, you probably can't hold it like you guys you can see it kind of crashed into the turret not all the way so it's okay yeah it's still like a freeze a little bit this is not good I don't want you to go here he just entered Oh good, not your fault here. Keep uh, focusing on farming. I like your camera control by the way. I think it's really good. For a silver player for sure. Nice. You have exhaust by the way, I don't think you need it. Good. Nice. And now we want to push the wave. Just fast as fast as possible. While well, getting the last kits, obviously, you can easily get the blitz here. Technically, the best play here for your trash is to move away, so you get free uh, plates for yourself only. You understand that? Yeah, I, I know. But maybe you, you wouldn't get it if he wasn't close to you, so I think it's okay still. Nice, trash is doing a really good job here. And now, do you know what to do? Cool. Yes, yes, this is really good. They sh should be on Drake. I don't think uh, the Earth Rush should be this aggressive. Okay, now you can rotate. I think you should rotate. I think you should rotate. This is winning fight for you. Because you had numbers advantage. It's it's okay that you miss few minions, by the way, on bottom for this fight. It's completely worth it. Try to get assist at least. He may leave. No, he's dead. Sejuani, fight Sejuani, fight Sejuani. They should help you here. They should help you. Nice. 
Okay, man. You can ward, like, you have two wards. You can ward the deep jungle or something like that. Like that, at least. Yes, we're really good. I like that ward. You can help him do the Drake, yes. I think that's that's also pretty optimal. You will lose few minions, but you will boost up your jungler's tempo, which is also beneficial for the game. You can go back to, to the lane now. Try to last it now. Don't push the way because it's so hard for them to play, right? They need to walk up all the way, and if they walk up all the way, you just smash them. Nice. For, as you can see, Ezreal is not getting anything right now. He's scared, he can't walk up. Trash is doing a good job here of st staying really aggressive. Nice. But uh, there's not much you can do about that. You can. Okay, there's a Johnny. I think this is not good. Oh, good. Uh, the only thing I can tell you here is you may may had reflexes to press W, right? Other than that, it's all, it's all good. You probably could have uh, pressed uh, press W to, to dodge the OT. Uh, do we buy like control what on mm. ADC? Uh, it depends, but generally speaking, I don't think you need to. Your support should should do it. Support and jungle kind of kind of job. Uh, sh should should uh, uh, we fast push away because Ethereo is basing? Yeah, yeah. Here, here you can definitely fast push. Here you can probably fight. So Juan is mid lane, so this is two v two. This should be really good. Nice. You just want to fast push this. So Juani could still be close here. So I want you to be a little bit careful, but be aware that you're really strong here. Okay, play slow, play slow. No, no, no you, you don't want to go in here. You have flash, just saying, if you need to. I don't think you need it, maybe. Hmm? You can maybe fight here. This is coming, play slow, play slow. You have exhaust if you need to. Exhaust, yes, very good. She can kill you if she wants to here. Keep basic, 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 basic. Nice man. Okay, that that exhaust was really good on the area. Really, really nice from that. And the fact that you realize that you can kind of fight there because your V scene and Zix rotated was really good as well. Check if you got the tier 1 on bot lane. Have you killed the tier 1 turret? Yep, okay. You can probably fight here with more if they overextend, which they will. Yep, this is their, their one to die here. Just fight here. You have exhaust in 10 seconds. Don't be scared. Or Ziggs kinda is sleeping. You wanna go mid here? Would you go mid here if I didn't tell you? What? Uh, oh no, I wouldn't. Yeah, mid is, mid is here must. Because your bot one is pushing bot. And you just wanna pressure mid now. There is no reason for you to go bot here. No, absolutely no reason. Because they should back at this point. I don't want you to like be too aggressive here. But it's okay. Because no one oh. is. Yeah. Look at your listen as well. You don't know what's happening there. Yeah, just kill her. And then you rotate to the drake. I mean to the pit. To the river. Yeah, this is really good fight. Just literally don't be scared. Nice. This is free. You just want to ping Baron 25 times. Ping Baron 25 times here. Just ping it. Ping it. Go Baron, go Baron, go. <laughs> because... <Okay. laughs> And nice day oh. FF. Okay, listen. This, this surrender. Yeah, yeah, but people at your real I don't think they would go Baron, honestly. <laughs> I don't think they understand that that is a free Baron. And with your pings, you're just telling them, yep, we can just take Baron here. So that is really important. I think you play this game really nice, to be honest. I don't think you did much, you, you did much mistakes. You were just, at some point, you were kind of late. But mechanically and your camera control were really good.